Today we're in Hebden Bridge. We have chartered, I think the word would be, a, a barge, which is absolutely brilliant. The Hebden project is like, we're going on like adventures on like canal boats and barges and, and going down the canal. It's like wobbling about and like moving left to right. And if you've not ever been on board, you might be scared at first, but when you've been on it for a little bit, it'll be good. It'll, it'll feel nice. The main idea behind getting the funding for the Heritage Group is because we wanted to give families who've been through our services an opportunity to have positive free time experiences and rebuild those bonds that might have been damaged while they were in domestic abuse relationships because those are the families that primarily we work with. And are coming out of the other side, just kind of wanting to meet other people in the community who understand what they've been through and this is a great opportunity for them to do that. Part of the project was to include a lot of different activities, all really based around the Rochdale Canal and the history of Rochdale to allow people who live here to have pride in the local area. So we've been really, really lucky to do loads of great activities. We have had Touchstones coming in who have done art-based activities around understanding the weight of barges and understanding how they float on canals. The kids have also been kayaking at Hollingworth Lake. They had to get in wetsuits and everything. That was so much fun. You watch the water start gushing in there now. We at the Canal and River Trust have a saying, well-being by water. It's a whole different experience. If people have mental health issues, it's one of the most fantastic places that you could actually get out. Meet people, out in the environment, fresh air, fantastic. opened in 1804 to support the industrial revolution. Transport coal, agriculture, produce and materials for the textile industry. Large pack horses were able to pull between 30 to 50 times more coal or iron on water than on land. Seven reservoirs were built especially to service the line including Hollingworth Lake, which became a popular tourist destination. By the early 1900s, the decline in traditional industries and the effect of raw buildway took its toll. The canal fell into disrepair in the 1950s, but plans to restore and reopen the canal began, led by the British Waterways and the Rochdale Canal Society. The Canal and River Trust came into being in 2012. It's now a multi-million pound business. We get boaters coming through from all walks of life. You do get people from other countries where they may not have networks of canals like we have. And they, they think this rolling hills here and in countryside is absolutely out of this world. Just through that bridge behind me, we've got a site of special scientific interest, which runs all the way from under that bridge right through to Failsworth at the other side of Oldham and there are all sorts of rare plants and wildlife. One particular what we do quite a lot is in Littleborough because we've got an adopted plot of land there so we've really started a lot of regeneration works on this plot of land. Today we're going to plant some seeds, some sunflower seeds. We're going to scatter some in the boxes and we can scatter some on the canal. It had planters on there already. We've added a few more planters. We've got some herbs. We've got different flowers growing. We've added benches for people to be able to sit on. And over time, we wanted to add more information about RCT and why having free spaces for people to go to is really important. And the legacy that we want to have with this project as well. Young people should like plant flowers and stuff because it's fun at the same time. And it's also good for the environment. It might be a calm area to come if like, you maybe want to go for a walk or just want to sit down or anything, you might want to come here. 
I made loads of friends here and I like the staff, they're really nice um, and they're really funny as well. It's really important for the children of this community to be out in this kind of environment. They all work together and it's great to see the different friendships that get formed. This heritage programme that we do here has been a great way to connect really with my family. I've found it really, really um, insightful, educational. We really have, as a family unit, become closer because of this programme. It's all about connecting with nature and the canal and being grateful actually because we all live in a fast life, busy, children, work. But coming on the canal is just it's nice and calm and relaxing. It's really fun to go on a boat because not everyone gets the opportunity to do that. It's just nice to be with everyone, like instead of being inside all day. Um, we're going to go down a lot now, and I'm a little bit scared. I found being on this project, getting together with the family and other people as well, was really educational and learning new things from each other as well. It weren't just from RCT, it was from the other families, the other kids. And it's nice to see the look on the children's faces as well when we do go out and we do the new stuff. And what I'm going to take away from today is she opened the lock on her own. I'm so proud of her for doing that today. such a dream project to be a part of. The relationships that have been built, the experiences that have been had, I really, really think we're gonna go for it again and continue this because the laughing, the cheering, the kind of smiles on the kids' faces are just so worth it.